Meanwhile, in the national team, the Black Stars are getting ready for that very important game that they will be playing with um, Uganda. That will be on Friday in Tamale. It will be the World Cup qualifier in the first of the series. The Ugandans are on their way to Accra and then will be playing to Tamale. But one key Ghanaian player who will not be there is Andre Ayu. He is in Accra and he's spoken about the fact that he's not certain but when he will return, because don't forget, he's injured. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I'm working day by day. You know, I, I had a, a very important uh, injury. So, like I like they've said before, I'm working very, very hard. If I if I have to come before, I'll come before. If I have to come after, I'll come after. So we never know when my 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 return is, but it's sooner than later. God willing, had the opportunity to join this this, this great club, and hopefully, you know, I can um, do like I said, what I do best on the field to to make all the the Hammer fans happy. So, Ghana will be playing Uganda, but across Africa there will be so many games. And in the last couple of days, we brought you an extensive preview of South Africa versus Burkina Faso. Today, we focus on Central Africa, that part of Africa with huge countries known mostly for their mineral resources and also for their fantastic football. They've produced lots of um, African Nations championships and also they've been to the World Cup in terms of Cameroon and other nations. To do that... With me, the analysis is Juliet Bewa, who works with Congo-based African News. Juliet, thank you for joining us on the Joy News. Thanks for having me. It's been a while. Right. It's fantastic having you. Um, a Ghanaian boy is based in Congo. How is it like? <laughs> <laughs> Look at I'm that smile. I'm an expert right in Congo. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. She is in Point Noir, um, where you are. A lot of people know it for the beaches as well. When the draw was announced and it was said that, you know, Congo were based in Group E with the Black Stars, how did they take it? Well, everybody, for me, I was excited because definitely I'll get to see um, the Black Stars in action in Brazzaville. But for people um, in Congo, people just got scared. They're like, oh, we've got the Black Stars. We've got Egypt in the group. How do we come up? How do we come out of this group? How do we make it to the 2018 World Cup um, in that, that, that is in Russia, but also many people want to see Andre Ayu, and you know that the French connection. So when you talk about Andre Ayu, when you talk about Abedi Pele, they just quickly remember um, Olympic Marseille. So um, it's, it's, it's been a bit of a mixed feelings, but I don't think um, they want to meet the Black Stars at this time. But you never know. You never know indeed. What you never also know is that of the 20 teams that are remaining in the qualifiers, we are not certain who would go because some of the groups are really, really tough. Let's start from Group A, where while, while zeroing in on Central Africa, we have DRC there. What are their chances in that group? Um, I tell you what, Gary, um, DR Congo will look to qualify for Russia 2018 for the first time um, since their maiden appearance that was in Zahir in 1974. And they are in a wide open group with Tunisia, with Guinea, and um, with, um, that is also Libya. I spoke this week to Lapi Bambura, that is Guinea coach, and um, to assess the chances of his side as well in this group. And he was very optimistic that um, DR Congo can't even stop them. But the Leopards, you remember, they qualify for next year's AFCON um, as winners in Group B, winning five out of their six matches. And Villarreal Cedric Bakambu is DR Congo's main goal threat um, with three goals in eight caps. And this is also, um, there is also Yannick Mbolazi as well, who I'm sure will be a threat for their opponents with political instability um, currently ongoing in the country at the moment. I'm sure speaking to Flo and Ibinge, that is a coach of the side, he and the team wants to use football to right the wrongs. And trust me, the people in DRC are very passionate about their football. In their pre-game friendly, um, they lost, that is, they lost 1-0 to the Harambe Stars of Kenya. But I'm sure um, they will come good um, right. against the Mediterranean night at the 80,000 capacity um, stadium in Kinshasa. And during this week, um, Libya wanted the game to be moved to, um, that is, Lombobashi. But um, oh. authorities have assured them that it's safe to play in Kinshasa. Fantastic. Let's go to Group B. This is one of the toughest groups. There's Algeria, 
there's Cameroon, Nigeria, and I feel sorry for the fourth team, Zambia. <laughs> yeah, well, what are the chances of Cameroon in this group? You, you don't have to feel sorry for them because I spoke to their coach on Monday, Watson, and he, he's very, he's oozing a lot of confidence. He's got local players, so he can do something. But trust me, I, um, Group B is arguably the toughest um, in the qualifying stage with three teams that is capable of qualifying for the tournament. But um, since Sunday, the indomitable Lions have been in camp in Marseille, that is um, France, preparing for their confrontation or their game. That was made. He doesn't want to title it. He doesn't want to give too much information about um, exactly what is um, is going to happen in terms of the Cameroon team. They played a friendly match earlier today against um, Olympic Marseille, which they drew 1-1. Um, the goal scorer, Vincent Abubakar, who is on loan from Porto to Besiktas, got the goal for Cameroon, and they leave for Algeria tomorrow. But I had a chat with Roger Mella on Monday, who lauded the team spirit of um, Cameroon, as well as Hugo Bros, um, saying that he didn't even know him when they appointed him to be Cameroon. <laughs> coach but now he is doing something good with the squad and with the recent mood in Cameroon concerning Rigobert song I'm sure the lads wants to do everything possible to get a good result and I'm sure they also want to do everything possible to make sure they get a place at Russia 2018 thank you very much for your time and for the analysis on the teams in Central Africa Juliet Bewa works for African News and she's looking very, very radiant and very beautiful. Thank you very much for joining us on point, point one. <laughs> All right, so um, that's it for the spot for now. We'll do more Afghan analysis in the coming days. Don't forget that the Ghana game is against Uganda. That will be on Friday. Many build dubs, uh, pieces, and videos still you can find on myjoyaline.com sports page. I'm Gary Al Smith. Later.